Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. This evening I'm doing another Artisan Spotlight, and that is on none other than SMG soaps. Now I do have 9mm here. A couple things before we get into the actual shave, uh, just off my little cheat sheet here. Uh, the owner Artisan is John Romanov. Uh, I believe he has a one-man show. Uh, SMG stands for the Shave Master General, uh, which was a nickname given to him uh, during one of these South Florida uh, West Shivers meetups a couple years back. Uh, soap bases are um, vegan, so you know, it's a vegan base if that matters to y'all. And he does extremely limited runs, meaning it's kind of like one and done. If you see it on a site, you'll think you might want it, buy it, because he may not make it again. More on that later. More on my thoughts on that later. Uh, now the scent notes on 9mm. Uh, this is tobacco, leather, gunpowder, Madagascar black powder, cedar wood, sandalwood, black amber, and oak moss. And I definitely get, let me see. It feels kind of more like a vanilla scent, like a, a very sweet leather with a little bit of gunpowder in it. It is a very pleasant scent. It's not overpowering. I just, it's very, very nicely blended. So I have everything whipped up here in the copper Captain Choice bowl. I am using a white handle synthetic brush that I got from uh, Hendrix Classics and Company. Very wet lather. This can take a lot of water. And it is a very soft crop. Borderline cream. I mean, this is extremely soft, but it can take water like a champ. I lost track of how many times I went back to the mister to add water to this. I did have it kind of soaking a little bit in my bowl as I was in the shower. And I still ended up adding a lot of water. As you can see, very kind of thin, a little bit on the thinner side, that is because it is so hydrated. Although this lather is not the most voluminous that I've used. So if you're looking for a voluminous, dense, thick lather, uh, probably not going to get with SMG. I do love this artwork on here. Kind of gives you an idea, really good idea what the, uh, what the scent notes are. Well, at least behind it. One thing I don't like, look at this back. It is not waterproof. Um, I don't know if you can hear that sticker hangs over, hangs over. Uh, a little smudge due to the water. Is this a deal breaker? No. However, make the sticker a little bit smaller. Um, is that too much to ask for? Now the reason this evening is the supply uh, injector. This has a two dot plate on it. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Brian, over the White Shave Experience, was kind enough to let me borrow this. I have used it as supply in the past. When I was really relatively new into the hobby and didn't know how I felt about it. I haven't used it on the face. This is my first time using it on the face since I'm kind of revisiting it. I did use this on the head not too long ago. Uh, actually, the day it arrived. That was a rather enjoyable shave. Close and comfortable. This one's not doing too bad. Surprisingly, it's removing the stubble very easily. This is a very smooth shave. The soap is also really slick. Good reserve slickness on it. Taking down 21st with the growth. Now the soap itself has, like I said, it's really good residual thickness. I have used it a few times before uh, off camera to get an idea of kind of how much water it takes.
kind of get a feel for the, the soap itself. Like I said, it is very slick. Not very voluminous, not very dense. Could take a lot of water. And I will say with this particular soap as well, is the first time I used it, I didn't hydrate it nearly enough. And I don't know if it's because it wasn't hydrated enough or if it's just the soap or something in it, but I felt a little bit of uh, irritation with the fr from, I'm guessing, fragrance. Or maybe it's a shave, I don't know. But I've used it a couple times since then and didn't really have any of that burning. I'm getting a slight tingle now. But nothing that's too uncomfortable or anything that would make me want to switch out the soap and use something else. Now, because of the tingle I'm experiencing, start with running water. Uh, would I consider this particular scent a daily driver? Um, probably not simply because I don't want to irritate my skin with, with any fragrance or anything that's maybe in it causing slight reaction. However, is the tingle reaction bad enough that I would not use the soap if it were mine? No. I say if it were mine because, uh, Burn of the Channel is kind enough to send this to me to use and kind of talk about as well, kind of highlight. I said I'm happy to do so. As long as I can be completely honest in my thoughts. Now, also one thing I forgot to mention is that SMG is out of uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And it looks like when I looked at his website, uh, S nine millimeter is still available. And it looks like it's sold as a soap and splash set. Uh, that's what I could see when I looked at, on the site, was just, you get the matching set and it's $40 for both. When we get to the post shave, I'll be able to tell if the splash is not cleaned or not because I can't remember. This two dot on the supply is really smooth. See how efficient it is at the end of the third pass? See how much cleanup needs to be done? So far, it's not horrible. When I first used the supply, Oh, goodness, probably over two years ago now. Um, I used the two dot, wasn't impressed. Went to the three, was going, yeah, it's not bad, it's smooth. Great to be efficient, great for travel. But I never, I, I used it a lot, and I just, I never really, never really spoke to me. Uh, then again, I was not used to injectors at that point. I think I just barely got my type. What do I have? Type G injector from Schick. And I hadn't used it very much, so I was still trying to figure out injectors. Maybe trying to figure out the angle, kind of the, the best way to use them. Um, now that I'm using this again, it is quite nice. One thing I do like is I do have the plates and you can see, you can just unscrew that. This would be better if there were a way to hold on to this because there's a little spring in the screw that if that spring goes, if you lose the spring, you're kind of screwed. Now, I will be honest. I have not looked at Supply's website for a little bit. So I don't know if they sell the screw or the little spring separately. I honestly don't know. Um, I will annotate that here after I can look at that and edit the video. So 
Supply does have their own uh, injector blades now. And the person who sent this to me, uh, or Brian, did include the injectors or those blades. I did not put one of those in here. This is the same blade that arrived with my um, Parker adjustable injector. I, you haven't seen it on the channel for a while because I haven't had it for a while. It's been on loan uh, to a good friend of mine. And I should be getting that back here very, very soon. So depending on how quickly you send this back to Brian, link to Brian's channel below. I'll try to do a comparison between these two. Um, I remember from the Parker that even on the most aggressive setting, it wasn't was a ton of blade feel, which really for injectors isn't bad. Definitely getting a little bit of that burning or not really burning, more of a tingle from some fragrance on this. Like I said, it's, it's not enough that I wouldn't use it, but it is enough that it wouldn't be a daily driver for me as far as the scent. Although, I love the scent. Just wish it didn't cause any irritation there. It'd be so much better for me if it didn't. This is a little cumbersome to get under the nose. He's trying to go that way. That was not bad. Still. Good heft. Is that? Well, I'll be darned somehow. A little bit of blood. I can shave with a Chevette and not get any blood. I shave with a freaking injector and there's a little dab somewhere. Let's see. Initially, yeah, trouble spots a little bit. I'll get these just a little bit here. The soap, the soap base is very nice. Like I said, it is very slick. So SMG, for the price for $40 for both the splash and the soap, oh, the soap is four ounces. So you get a decent amount there. If you find a scent you like, I'd, I'd definitely say it's worth a try. Definitely worth worth one one worth. I can't talk this evening as usual. Apparently, it's one worth picking up and trying. I do like this nine millimeter scent quite a bit. It is a very sweet leather combined with the other scent notes. Oh, it didn't do the chin very well. Let's try that again. We'll just blame my experience with injectors for a minute here. I don't use injectors all that often. But you can hear that take it down. So we'll just go with that. We'll call that good. All right. 
there. Not bad at all. So we already did the cold water. We'll just do some witch hazel real quick. Then we'll do the splash. Just so I can tell you or not if it's uh, alcohol based. Because there are some people out there, <clears throat> shitty, that will only use a splash if it's alcohol based. And it doesn't have the ingredients on the splash at all. In fact, if you look at the bottom, and you can read this, at the bottom of the tubs, it says, uh, see, what does it say here? Oh, it has the ingredients for the aftershave on here. So it, it is alcohol based and witch hazel. So there you go, Shady. You can use the splash. I love the, these bottles, these little flask bottles. I like those more. These are some of my favorites. They stack well, they just work. So a little bit of SMG, nine millimeter splash to go with this. Now this does not smell like leather. The other notes on the splash come through a little bit more. But it pairs exceptionally nicely, obviously. And I'm gonna give a little bit of alcohol burn. You can see there the red. So good alcohol uh, content in there. Definitely uh, a good alcohol splash. I wish the scent on the splash matched the soap a little bit more, because I really love the scent on on that soap. Just It's a nice, sweet leather with all those other notes mixed in. Beautiful scent. Splash does not match the soap, which I would prefer. Uh, you know, the only really downside I can say for SMG is that kind of hangs over a little bit. The front top label is just gorgeous. Uh, I've seen the ones he has on the other on the side as well. Those are just gorgeous. That little janky and not being waterproof, especially on the bottom of the soap tub. That that should be waterproof. Um, now I don't know if that's water or oils, like uh, what happened in my Shannon's soaps, but. If you can get the top label to not run, you should be able to get the bottom label to not run as well. My opinion. Anyway, really excellent shave. Uh, I like SMG. Definitely one that I would recommend at least trying once if you can. If not a full tub, see someone has some, you can do a trade of a sample or something. The supply uh, revisited thus far. First initial impressions, second chance, whatever. Not bad. Um, not sure where that came from. Though. There's a bump or whatever, but... Teeny buddy can tell it's already closed up. Uh, I'm going to use that a few more times before I send it back to Brian and uh, see a few more times of videos here. Anyway, thank you guys again for tuning in. Before I keep rambling on too much longer, we're going to call it a night. Y'all have a good one.